You see interstate signs every day, but those numbers aren't random. They're a secret code, a map of the entire country hiding in plain sight. Today, we crack that code. In the 1950s, President Eisenhower, inspired by Germany's Autobahn, knew America needed a better road system for its economy and for national defense. The massive interstate highway project was born, but it needed a simple navigation system anyone could instantly understand. The result was this brilliant language of numbers. Odd-numbered highways are north-south routes. The numbers get higher as you move from the west coast, I-5, to the east coast, I-95. Even-numbered highways are east-west routes. The numbers get higher as you move from the south, I-10, to the north, I-90. The most important cross-country highways end in a 5 or a 0. These are the backbones of the network. Routes ending in 5 are major north-south corridors. Routes ending in 0 are major east-west corridors. If you're on one of these, you're on an American lifeline built for the long haul. This is where it gets clever. For three-digit interstates, the last two digits tell you the main highway they connect to. So, I-495 is connected to I-95. The first digit is the secret. An even number means it's a loop or beltway that goes around a city. An odd number means it's a spur that goes into a city and likely ends there. Simply put, even takes you around, odd takes you in. So the code is simple. Odd numbers run north-south, even numbers run east-west. Numbers get higher going east and north. The biggest routes end in five or zero. Around cities, an even first digit means a loop and an odd one means a spur. It's a logical system hiding on every green sign. Next time you get on the highway, you won't just see a number, you'll see the code.